since Sandra can't talk at the moment. <laughs> the food's too good. <laughs> we are at Crestwood. Grows hot foods, yeah. Ticks the box. On our way to the Allen River. Which is a um a popular swimming hole close to Newcastle up in the Hunter Valley. So yeah, we're going up there. It's a hot day. Gonna go up there and cool off a little bit. I'm gonna jump off the rock, have a swim, take in some of the scenery. It's just sorry, I can't eat the stop eating this food, it's too nice. Um it's just coming to the end of the school holiday, so there may, may be quite a few people a few people up there, but that doesn't bother me. Um, there's plenty of spots up there. So yeah, it's, as I said, it's a hot day, so go on somewhere different for a swim. Hey, how's everybody doing? So little big old me is taking a trip up to the Allen River, uh, one of my favourite places to go camping. When my kids were little, this was the place that we first took them camping. Um, they were all in the river from probably the age of six weeks old. And for as long as I can remember, this fence has been here with the shoes, not as many shoes. Um, it's been about three years, I guess, since I've been up here, Australia Day weekend, probably three years or four years ago. But yeah, um, there's no shortage of shoes here, that's for sure. Um, and probably tinier for that matter. Um, <laughs> anyway, yeah, um, yeah the, the amount of shoes has grown considerably. But yeah, it's a bit of an iconic um, place here, Boot Hill, named aptly. And yeah, so we thought we'd just take a moment to stop off and, and share this place with you guys. We're nearly at our destination, which is the Ellen River. Good on you, Nigel. I was doing steady camera work until that moment. <laughs> Sorry. So here we are at the Allen River, we're way up the other end of the campground at White Rock. Um, as you can see, white, rock, big wide white rocks. Not as deep as a swimming hole is up the other end as lady, Ladies Well, or a, a place that my, the other deep watering hole my kids used to call Happy Hour because it's where all the grown ups used to take their beer so they started calling it Happy Hour and that, that name stuck so yeah. But I've camped in, in all different spots along the river. Up here is a bit quieter, so it's, you know, it's, it's not a bad spot up here. It's a bit chaotic up the other end sometimes, but yeah, it just depends on the, the mood and the moment, I guess. But yeah, it's, it's beautiful everywhere up here, I love it. Um, yeah, I mean, like any natural environment, you've just got to watch your step. You, you'll find the stinging nettle, leeches if it's been damp, snakes if it's hot enough, but yeah, you've just got to remember that this is their environment and their habitat and, and just um, easy does it as you walk through the forest.
what, what I normally do. Sound, sound, I sound like a weirdo, I don't really care. When I go swimming, if I, if I haven't got a bag, you know, if I'm just walking down from camp or something, I, or, you know, if you're closed or whatever, yes, it's a bra, but I, I loop all my clothes through so that you don't lose anything on the way. I mean, how many times do you go to the beach and you see people's got their knees everywhere? So, I normally do a thread. So, I'm not going to lose any items today. So, yeah. Good old bra, hey? The over-the-shoulder boulder holder comes in handy for many of you. So, where I'm pointed to with the stick, that's a stinging nettle for those people that don't know what a stinging nettle is. At first you may not be able to tell, but upon a closer look you'll see there's little burrs or, you know, hair, look, hair looking, hair like looking things at the edge, on the edges of the leaves. That's a stinging nettle plant. They're everywhere. Um, yeah, like the little burrs will get in your skin and make you itch and red and, you know, some people can have a bad reaction, depends on your allergy levels, I guess, but yeah, as you can see, they're everywhere, so, you know, if you are walking down to a watering, watering hole, try and follow a path, um, and if you have, you know, like, if you get part of the bush where it's congested or thick, dense or whatever, um, yeah, watch your step, step over them. Yeah, they will itch for quite some time. You know, not the worst thing that can happen to you in the bush, but yeah, very irritating and they're everywhere. If you happen to brush against stinging nettle, there is a plant in the bush that Mother Nature has provided to rectify and remedy that. And it's, I don't know the proper name for this plant, I can't remember, but it's referred to as elephant's ear. Um, grab this plant, grab the stalk, the least useless slit the stalk open and rub it on the affected area um, you'll, you, you'll still have a little bit of irritation but it does um, soothe and ease the pain okay so yeah you don't have to panic and run off to a chemist or you know put something some sort of pharmaceutical thing on it you know that, that there's cures everywhere in the bush you've just got to know where to find them